Hi guys, Stop Pops here, and today we're over at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is technically where our post office is. So we're gonna be going back there to pick up some packages. I, I, I haven't been here in a while, so there should be something. And then we're also gonna do a little bit of pop hunting. So let's go back there and let's get started. Now guys, I would normally be carrying these, but to film it real quick, she's carrying all of them. So I, anyways, let's go to the car quick before we drop something. All right guys, so we're over at Michael's right now, and they do have a small pop section, and I haven't been here in a while, so I kinda wanna see what's new. So here's their section over here, guys. Not a bad section, though, I will say that. There's a couple good ones that I like. Um, what's one I haven't seen in a while? Like this right here. I've got Kanan right there from Rebels. That one's pretty cool, I almost messed up his name there. Um, I have, they have some of the Dumbo ones here. Uh, I have these ones already, is what I was gonna say. So there's Bo Peep, Dumbo, and then there should be a Simba around here somewhere. I don't know if they have one. But um, there are three of those DIY ones. Um, they have Pat Sajak from Wheel of Fortune. Um, I see a lot of these ones here. The Kool-Aid Man, they had one up there as well. And Chester Cheetah. Where'd he go? I saw one up here. I showed him off, didn't I? There he is right there anyways. Um, so pretty decent selection. The only thing is that they're banking on you using a gift card or... Or not a gift card, but like a... Um, uh, coupon is what I'm trying to say here. So $17, usually there's like a 40 to 50% off coupon. So if the price is higher, that's why. So they're probably still making money on it that way. Um, but here we have here, guys, we have Panther Marge, Pugsley Adams, Rescue. But uh, yeah, nothing that I'm going to pick up here today. But it is cool to see some good pops. But maybe this. Uh, oh, no. Or uh, this. That one? This one. No, but then that's got the glass in the back, though. Yeah, but that, that looks a little odd. Cool. Why? Uh, not? If anybody's wondering, we're looking into maybe getting some of these to display like Pop Towns. Um, and this is what people use to display out of box pops. Oh, I wonder I wonder if here. soda figures would fit in this. Yeah. That'd be neat. With, uh, lights in it on the other side, I think. Oh, is there? Yeah. We should check that out too. Yeah. Um, the football cases are cool, but then do they ha you know what the problem is though too? I think they ha all have that little I thing like stuck glass. in no, but they have that little thing stuck in the middle there to put the football on. Well, I'm sure you could get that. Uh, I'm sure I could like cut that off or whatever. It looks like it's just taped there or at least like lightly glued. Um, but yeah, because we're, we're looking around here because it would be cool. I think the basketball size is Ooh, good. this for a pint sized hero? <laughs> it'd, be kind of, it'd be kind of funny, I would say. Um, anyways, yeah, we're just digging around, seeing what different displays we can pick up maybe for the office. Two? Oh, they Look. even have, oh, this would be cool. Maybe I get one of those. Try me. So they have, is there another one that you can try here? Let me try. This one's got the button here. Oh, hey, the, uh, uh -oh. it's not too bright, but it is cool that they have the LED ones. I'm pretty sure it'd be brighter. LED front loading display case. Hmm. Does this cool. one light up? This is even cool. Look. Oh, it is lighting up. It's just, it's kind of dark. Okay. I feel like you'd want to put better ones in there. That's even cooler. Ah. I don't know the, the height. Could you hang that on the wall, do you think? Mm. Or is that too heavy? It's heavy. Is it? There are hooks, but it's, it's heavy. Yeah, I know. Not for like a thin wall. No. Um, anyways, guys. Yeah, we're just digging around, like I had said, seeing what we can find. Um, They're really up there. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think it's because so many people, Mom, were using them for pops. Yeah. They're like, let's put, let's make a figure one. You know what I mean? And they just put LEDs in there. I don't know. I think they look great. Um, yeah, maybe not today, but I am looking into them. All right guys, so we are back now. I have four packages to open up. I'm really excited about these because three of them are from the same person and then one of them is from Jeff. So we're gonna be checking these out here, seeing what's inside of them. One of them's from, actually, I think they're all from New York now that I'm looking at it here. Um, yeah, so this one's from Erica. These three are from Erica. She actually messaged me and told me these were coming. So I'm really excited about to see what's inside. Um, so maybe let's let's start with this one here from Jeff because I have no clue what this could be. But yeah, we've been messaging back and forth a little bit, Erica. And I don't know what's in them, but I am pretty excited to see what's in it. Dear Top Pops, thank you for all that you do and for inspiring me to not only Funko Pop Hunt myself, but for keeping me up to date with new pops coming out so that I may add them to my collection, Jeff. Well, Jeff, uh, thank you so much for sending this over. Um, um, and I mean, hey, no problem. I do this all the time and I wanna make sure that you guys get every figure that you want. So I'm glad that it's helping out everybody because it really is awesome to see people get really great figures for their collection just because I told you guys where it was coming out to. Um, but let's see what you sent over. Oh! 
Oh, Jeff, thank you so much for this. Okay, guys, if you don't know what this is, I'm looking at it right now. I should turn it to show you guys, but I haven't shown it yet. This is the only at Target limited glow chase edition Twinkie the Kid. This one was the last one that I was missing for my set. There is a total of five Twinkie the Kids and I did not have this one. Jeff, thank you so much for this. That's crazy. I did not know. Thank you so much for this, honestly. I was actually looking into ordering one of these the other day, but then I, the auction that I was looking at on eBay ended. So that's really crazy that you sent this over at like such a perfect time because I really was going to get this one for the collection like I swear two days ago. So Jeff, thank you so much for this. It's going to look amazing in the Ad Icon collection. Before we continue with the video, if anybody wants to see what the glow looks like on Twinkie, there it is. It glows pretty bright. Okay, guys, uh, I had the brightness down on the light. Let's see if this is any better. Whoop. Yeah, that should be nicer. So let's get on to the next packages here that we have are the three from Erica. Now, like I had mentioned, I have no clue what's inside of here. She just told me that um, I was gonna be excited about what's inside of here, so I am pretty excited about what could be inside of here. I don't know, I've been thinking about it for a couple days now, and I don't really know. Ooh, nice, sweet. Okay guys, so the first pop we have here is the Disney's Launchpad McQuack. Now, I don't actually have this one. This is a great figure. I have Darkwing Duck, but I do not have any of the other ones. Launchpad McQuack is actually a really great one. I saw, you know what's funny? I saw the character of this when we were in Disney, and you don't see him very often. He does not come out very often, but it was cool that we got to see him. Now there's also something else in here, wrapped up in the newspaper I just noticed. We've got some pint-sized Cheerios and mystery mini, so that's cool. Here we have one of the ones, this right here, oh shoot, I can't think of what it's from. Oh, I know this. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you know, I'll uh, heart your comment or something like that, so that way everybody else can see it too. But then we also have a couple other minis as well. This one's pretty neat. I don't remember what set this is from, though. Is it a mystery mini? It's Funko, isn't it? Yeah, it's Funko. It's back from 2017. That's cool. I think it's from the Saturday morning cartoon set. Um, so there's that. And then we have the, um, which one is this here? The Thor with uh, the axe. I don't remember what it's called. Thor with the... Uh, Anyways, it's the one from Endgame, but this is pretty cool there as well, guys. So there's the Thor, but that's only the first package. So let's see these other two. Ooh, all right, sweet. Okay, guys, so next up, I wanna pull this pop out here so you guys can see it. We have right here, this is the Baloo from Tailspin. This is another one that I don't have, but I am a big fan of Baloo, especially from the Jungle Book. So it's cool that we have this one right here. That's a great figure. I do like that one a lot. Now that's a nice one. All right, let's see here. So, oh, it looks like there's a couple pops inside of here. All right, ooh, okay. Let's see here. Let's start with, I'll kind of go through it one at a time so you guys can get surprised here. Um, but let's start with this one right here. We have Diane from Cheers. Now, I've actually been watching a lot of Cheers recently um, because it's on television after, like, you know, like at about three o'clock, like after lunch. So cool that it's on. But there's Diane from Cheers. Um, she's pretty much, I think she's one of the ones that's in every episode. Isn't she? 99% of the episode she's in. Um, I think so. I think she makes it through the whole series, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, there's that one. Then I also noticed we have Woody down here. That one's cool as well. I also like that this Woody is uh, him and he's cleaning the glass. So you guys can see there. I want to take this off so it's a little bit cleaner because they keep those protectors on there so the protectors stay nice. It's like a protector for the protector. But yeah, Woody looks really great as well. That's a cool one. And then we have, what else do we got down here? There should be two more that I I saw yeah we've got the mr. freeze from the Batman classic TV series that's a nice figure um, I don't have this one so it's nice to add it to my Batman collection because that's a really great figure there's also the penguin um, from the set that I've been looking for I know when they first came out I was like I'll get them eventually and now they're not there in stores anymore so it is harder to find them but it shouldn't be too bad to find it so let's see we've got this right here oh oh ho, 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 sweet Okay, guys, so we have the, I believe this is teal and orange, I think they were calling it. It's not teal, it's blue and orange, though. Um, and this is the Funko Shop exclusive 90th anniversary Mickey Mouse. Now, that is a cool pop. I know I have some other ones of these around here somewhere. Yeah, I've got a couple of them over there, but I don't know if I have this one. So that's really cool. Erica, thank you so much for sending these over. Oh, I also noticed there's one more thing down here, guys. We have the little, I believe this is Chica, the mystery mini from Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you so much. Now guys, before we get out of here, I have one more package that I wanted to show off. This is one that I ordered from the Funko shop personally. And uh, this is one that's been sitting here for 
maybe a week now and I've just wanted to open it up because this is one of those figures that sold out in like, I think it was two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. Like it was one of those crazy ones that I was surprised that it sold out so quick, but more surprised that I could somehow get it. So let's cut into this and see what it looks like because this is one of those ones that I wanted for my set because I have been getting these whenever they come out. Um, I did miss a couple of this one. I'm keeping it like cryptic here so you guys don't know what it is. Um, but let's check these guys out and see what they look like. Yeah, this is what I would have thought it was. Okay, so here we go right here. There's the box. There's two pops inside of there. Um, I know you can probably see what it is on there, so I'll turn it sideways to kind of, you know, build suspense here. I always say that, but really, does it really build suspense? Or am I just kind of like hyping up not much because I, you guys can kind of see what it is. Ooh, okay, I'm excited about this. So, I have a couple from this set already, um, and I'll pull those out in a minute because I want to show these off first, though. Okay, so, these two here are from the Funko Shop, like I had said, and it's these two right here. It is Betty and Wilma from the Flintstones. So, these ones are ones that they had as rock candies, which is another line that Funko has. For the longest time, they made those ones, and they had been at FYE. I see them whenever I go. They never made them into pops. So, I was super excited about getting these ones as pops. I used to watch this all the time when I was younger, um, because it used to be, we would go on like long car trips, like, because we used to drive down to Cape Cod every once in a while. Like, it used to be like once every two summers or every summer. I don't remember what it was, but there would always need to be like a DVD in the player, so we would put on like the Flintstones or something like that so we used to watch this a lot um, and it'd be like a nine hour car ride right so there's a really long time where you just get to you know watch it for a long time so anyways I've got this here we've got Wilma and then we also have Betty so that's pretty cool that we have both of these now Wilma looks great um, I think this one's nice I um, mean they do look like them but also look like pops which I think is great I mean that's what it is of course um, but they do translate into um, big heads like this even though they are um, a 2d cartoon or 2d animation so let me also grab the other two that we have here I have the water buff Buffalo ones here of Barney Rubble as well as Fred Flintstone here. So we've got these two. And then I also have some more as well. Let me grab them. Hold on one second. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, this is every single one that I have. So here we have the two water buffalo ones of Barney and Fred. And then we also have this one here. We've got Baby Puss, which is another pretty cool one. And then we have Hoppy the Hopperoo, which is another great figure. And then I have all four of the colored Dino. So we've got yellow here. We've got blue. There's that one right there. We've got green, and then we also have red. So that's pretty much everyone that I have. I'm missing Bam Bam and what's their name? Bam Bam and Pebbles? Pebbles and Bam Bam, I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Pebbles. Why am I blanking on this one? Anyways, I'm missing those two because I missed them on the Funko shop. They sold out pretty quickly. And then I'm also missing the original, like Barney and Fred. So that's pretty much all I'm missing, though. Not many. There's also the Great Gazoo now coming out for Emerald City Comic Con. I have the Dorbs right of it, but I, you know, you know, they never made a pop, so I don't have that one. So pretty excited to add that one to the collection. But that's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow